While we're talking about video clips, why not look at the primary color corrector change, which is a very small change, but a nice and welcome one. So I've got a clip here which was filmed in a flat raw format. So I'm going to put a primary color corrector on that clip, open it up, and you can see all the stuff that's been in the primary color corrector for the last few versions. There's a new setting up here, base. And you can see you can go between display light and scene light. And you'll notice as I'm changing between those two, absolutely nothing is happening to my clip. That's because it only really has an effect once you've used one of these things at the top. So for example, this is a GH4 clip and it's filmed in Vlog. So I'd normally go up to source and I would select Panasonic Vlog as the setting to say, look, this was filmed in Vlog, change it to normal color space. And there we are, it changes it. But now if I go down to the base setting and I swap between the two settings, you'll notice it does make a difference. So it makes a difference if you've applied some kind of LUT. If I put that back to where it started and go to the destination LUT and choose something and then swap between them, yep, you'll notice again it makes a difference to that. It's just a different way of converting the log format footage into something different. Now in this case, obviously, Neither of these look good. This is not how I deal with my Panasonic footage. I would normally leave that on the project color space, put the source on GH4, and then I would choose one of these two settings. I always found that that V-Log setting for my GH4 always gave it a little bit too much contrast and the blacks were a bit too much black. So I tended to actually go off and get somebody else's LUT and then bung that onto my system, which I explained in one of my other videos. You click on this little cog and add it in. And then I would take that LUT and I'd use that on my GH4 footage instead of the built-in Grass Valley one because, I, like I said, I always thought it was a bit too much black or a bit too dark on all the blacks. Well, this is nice because if I put it on display light, which is the new setting, you'll notice the blacks aren't getting quite as black and it's not quite as contrasty as it was with the standard setting. So I actually really like that because I think it makes this Panasonic Vlog setting for my camera work a lot better than it did under the old one. Of course, it works for everything else as well. I happen to be talking about GH4 because I've got one. Let's take a clip that wasn't filmed in a log format, add a primary color corrector to that, open it up again. Display light, scene light, making no difference whatsoever. But if I then apply some kind of LUT to that, I'm using LUTs here which have nothing to do with a GH4, but, you know, I can still use them. Apply some kind of LUT to that, and then I pop between display light and scene light, you can notice it makes a difference. Now, if you're an advanced colorist, you might actually understand what the technical difference is between display light and scene light. Personally, what I do is whack it on a clip, pop between the two, find out which gives me the best look, and then I start fiddling and fine tuning it using the sliders down below. Personally, I think display light for most things gives me a better look than scene light, but you know, it might vary. 